U.S. President Joe Biden hosts the leaders and representatives of 18 Pacific Island nations, and he plans to work with U.S. Congress to provide $200 million of new funding for the region in an apparent move to counter the influence of China. Ian Jin tells more. The White House summit hosted by President Joe Biden, where he met with Pacific Island leaders on Monday, was the second meeting of its kind in just over a year. The forum is seen as a part of a larger Biden administration effort to deepen ties with the region where officials say Beijing is hopeful of protecting military power. Before welcoming the 18 leaders and representatives, Biden announced U.S. diplomatic recognition of two more Pacific Island nations, the Cook Islands and Niue, highlighting that recognizing them as sovereign and independent states would enable expansion for a stronger partnership. During the welcoming ceremony, Biden emphasized that the U.S. is committed to ensuring a free, open, prosperous and secure Indo-Pacific region. He also pledged to work with U.S. Congress to provide 200 million U.S. dollars more in funding for the region. The funds would be used for projects aimed at resolving issues, including climate change, economic growth, public health and countering illegal fishing. However, Washington appears to have made no progress over offers of substantial infrastructure funding to the Solomon Islands, whose prime minister has deepened ties with China and did not attend the summit. Also absent was the newly appointed prime minister of Vanuatu, who took power just two weeks ago following a no-confidence vote against his predecessor for actions including signing a security pact with U.S. ally Australia. China signed a policy agreement with Vanuatu just last month. Speaking at the summit, President Biden invoked America's World War II campaign against Japan in the region and, without naming China, implied that a battle of another kind was now underway. He added that a great deal of history will be written across the Pacific over the coming years, with partnership key to writing that history together. Ian Zin, Arirang News.